Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 4.3 isomerism. In this video, we're going to learn to describe cis trans isomerism and identify the cis trans isomerism. Okay, so previously we have learned about isomer, which mostly we have looked for the case of structural isomer. Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the stereo isomer. So, what is actually stereo isomer? I'm going to look on our notes on page 11 lah. Okay, stereo isomer is, uh, it is where the compound will have the same structure formula but different arrangement of atom in space. So, actually we're going to learn two types of stereo isomer but in this video, we're going to learn about cis trans isomerism or the other name for it is geometrical isomerism. Okay, but then for the cis trans isomerism, not all molecule will um, have cis trans lah. Uh, there is a requirement for the molecule uh, for it to exhibit the uh, cis trans isomerism. So, what is the requirement? First is actually it must have a restricted rotation about a CC double bond in alkene or CC cycle, CC single bond in cyclic compound. Okay, and this one is actually for the case of alkene lah. Alkene for a cyclic compound. Okay, so not all molecules will have it. Okay, first make sure it has this one. Either the double bond in alkene or CC single bond. So, this is the examples here. Okay, and then here it mentioned that each carbon atom of a site of restricted rotation has two different groups attached to it. Okay, so what does it mean here? Okay, so let's look. For example, I'm just going to label it first. Huh, I'm going to I have labeled it. Okay, this is my restricted rotation. My CC double bond, right? So, this is carbon 1, carbon 2. Okay, on carbon number 1, it must attach to two different groups. So, here it has hydrogen and CH3. So, two different groups. Uh, it can exhibit cis trans. Okay, this one, carbon number 2. Okay, uh, does it attach to two different groups? So, we have CH3 here, hydrogen here. So, it actually two different groups, right? So, this is an example where this molecule exhibit the cis trans. Okay, so let's look for the case of our cyclic compound. The same here. This is our cyclic compound. Okay, this is our cyclic compound. Okay. This is our restricted rotation. It's bonded to 1 CH3, 1 hydrogen. The second uh, carbon pool, sama juga. It is restricted to, uh, it has two different group, group attached to it. One is CH3, one is our hydrogen. Okay, so when we look here, um, here we have our alkene. So here is our restricted rotation, carbon number 1, carbon number 2. Okay, when we check here, Carbon number 1 here. Okay, here it has CH3. We put CH3. So, again, the requirement is that at the side of the restricted rotation, at your uh, alkene or at your cyclic compound, must have two different groups. You can same dif uh, same group, kan? So, there is no cis trans isomer for this molecule. Even though kat sini, uh, it has two different, tapi dekat yang first carbon ni sama, kan? So, there's no cis trans isomer. Okay, so that is actually the requirement. But what is actually yang cis trans ni? Here, it mentioned that cis trans isomer are stereo isomer that differ by group being on the same side, cis, and opposite side, trans, of a side of uh, rigidity. Okay. So, for example here, and the uh, carbon here, one is bonded to our, one is bonded to our CH3. So, here is bonded to CH3. Okay. Uh, this one bonded to hydrogen. Another one is bonded to hydrogen, right? Okay. And then, uh, at the second carbon, second carbon, we have also hydrogen. And here, uh, at the second carbon, we do have CH3 as well. Okay. So, when we look, okay, on our carbon number one, eh, and carbon number two, uh, the same one is CH3 is actually uh, here is actually on opposite side. So when it is opposite side, this is example of our trans isomer. Okay. Yang ini for this case, this one. Okay. So when we look here, our CH3 here, uh, our hydrogen is actually here. Here hydrogen, here is actually our CH3. Okay. Here is carbon number one two then. When we look here, uh, yang the same group tu is actually uh, on the same side. Uh, Sebelah-sebelah saja. Same side, we call it as cis trans. Okay, so that is actually uh, how to know it. Okay, if it's the opposite side, it's uh, trans. If it's the same side, it's cis. Okay, so dekat sini pun sama juga. 
when we look here, CH3, CH3 on the same side. So here, same, dia adalah cis. Kalau dia ni CH3, CH3 opposite, dia adalah trans isomer. Okay, and the last point here, it mentioned that if one of the doubly bonded uh, carbon has two identical group, cis trans isomer is not possible. Again, when you check your uh, double double bond, make sure it must be attached to two different groups. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually look at the examples. Okay, let's look for the example on page 11. So, we have this structure. So, how we're going to draw it to see is either cis or trans. So, first step sebenarnya senang nak buat adalah expanded structure. So, first ingat is between carbon number 1 and 2 ada double bond and make sure each carbon is bonded to 4. Ada 4 bond lah. Okay, so sekarang ni barulah senang Miss nak buat dia sebagai cis trans. So, first intermediate Miss nak buat C double bond C. Lepas tu remember each carbon ada 4 bond. Okay, lepas tu kita tengok first carbon ni attach pada 2 hydrogen. Okay, the second carbon ni attach pada 1 hydrogen. And another one dia bonded kepada our CH3. So, yang ini Miss nak tulis dia sebagai CH3 teruslah Miss nak buat dia expanded. Okay, so from here barulah senang Miss nak buat dia jadi macam nampak um, apa ni, sengit-sengit sikit. Uh, so, it is easier for us to see it's uh, either boleh buat cis or trans ke tidak. Okay, so again in the middle Miss buat C double bond C. Lepas tu dia punya tu Miss buat bonded dia. Okay, so now we know that it uh, the requirement first adalah restrict rotation ada C double bond C. Next, mesti ada two different group attached to the carbon lah. Okay, first ni memang ada two different group. Okay, but how about the second one? The second one ni, again, the bonded same group. Tapi sedangkan kita nak carbon yang sama attach pada different group. So, sebab satu ni tak boleh. So, overall, there is no cis trans isomer for this compound. Okay, so compound B pula, kita tengok. So, how we going to draw it? Okay, yang ini C double bond C in the middle. Again, each carbon ada 4 bond. Okay, carbon satu, carbon number 2 ni, dia bond daripada 1 hydrogen and 1 CH3. Okay, so yang carbon number 1 pula, dia attach pada 2 of my CH3. So, maknanya CH3 atas, CH3 sebelah. So, tu lah dia buat CH3 tu ada 2. So, here I'm going to put CH3 um, bonded to the uh, first carbon. Okay, so sekarang ni Miss nak rearrange supaya dapat yang sengit-sengit tu kan. Okay, so here. Again, when we draw it here, kita tengok, okay. Dah ada restrict rotation, dia ada. Uh, tapi, each carbon atom tu has two different group. Tapi, ni same. Again, soalan nak, uh, apa, requirement dia different group. Tapi, the second carbon ni, it has two different one. Tapi sebab satu dia dah tak capai requirement. So, it means that overall, this molecule has no cis trans isomer. Okay, the third one ni. Okay, kita buat. The third one, CH3, CH2, CH, CH, CH3. So, yang ini means buat expanded terus lah. Pada carbon between 3 and 4, adanya double bond. Lepas tu, means cukupkan each carbon mestilah ada 4 bond. Okay, so again, so bila bis buat macam ni, expanded. Lepas tu, remember in the middle carbon dengan carbon. Carbon ni atas pada satu hydrogen. Satu lagi, atas pada CH3. Okay, yang carbon ni pula, atas pada satu hydrogen juga. Tapi satu ni, dia atas pada apa? Another one, dia bonded kepada, ha, yang ini mis buat CH3, CH2. Ni mis buat the condensed sikit. Okay, so ni mis padam. So, mis nak rearrange here. So that I can do the shape yang cis trans lah. So that it is easier for you to see. Dia boleh cis ataupun dia trans. Okay. Ni CH3, CH2. Okay. So sekarang ni. Again, dia ada restrict rotation. Dia ada. Sebab ada yang CC double bond. Okay. Another one dia nak pada setiap carbon tu kena ada two different group attached to it. Okay, so carbon number 1, dia attach 1 hydrogen, 1 CH3. So, different group, okay. Okay, carbon number 2 pun, dia attach pada 2 different group. Nah, so, both is considered. So, maknanya barulah yang ini considered cis trans isomer. Tapi sekarang ni, bila dia ada cis trans isomer, kita kena determine lah which one is cis, which one is trans. Sebab hydrogen dia is the same side, so this is cis isomer. 
Okay, so bila dah ada sis, boleh juga buat trans. So, I'm just going to copy paste it here. Okay, Miss Nak rearrange so that my apa ni, my hydrogen yang the same group tu, dia ada two different dia attach pada apa ni, on the opposite side. Okay, so kita tengok kat sini, hydrogen the opposite side. So, here is trans isomer. Okay. D, E dengan F ni For example, D, E and F You should try yourself Last one, what we're going to look at Is actually about the melting point And boiling point of the cis trans molecule Okay, for the case of melting point Trans isomer will have a higher melting point Than cis isomer Okay, why? Because in a trans molecule The molecule are more closely packed In its solid compound So, if this is actually a solid compound. So, when it's closely packed, it means that we need more energy to break the bond. When compared to the cis geometry, here we have our open space. So, it is easier for us to um, break the bond itself and melt it to become a liquid. Okay, next is the boiling point. Okay, for the boiling point, it's actually we're going to look in terms of our intermolecular force. Okay, for this case, cis isomer we have a higher boiling point than trans. Okay, why? Because for the cis molecule, it actually have um it will have uh, uh it is a polar molecule. So when it's a polar molecule, it's actually have extra intermolecular force, which is our dipole dipole force. So so that's why they get it. Therefore, the intermolecular forces are relatively stronger. So, but should we cut trans in it? If you still remember, actually we're gonna draw our dipole moment where the electron, uh, the arrow must be towards more electronegative um, uh, atom. Okay, so here, this one and this one will be cancelled out. Uh, here, will be cancelled out with this one. Okay, so, but then for the case of cis isomerism, so here, car hydrogen towards carbon here. Okay, so actually, one down here, one down here, so it will be towards downwards. Okay, and between the carbon and bromine ni pun, the uh, dipole moment will be downwards. So, that's why this is actually uh, mu is equal, not equal to zero. Here, mu equal to zero. So, trans is a non-polar molecule and our cis is a polar molecule, which means it has a higher or stronger intermolecular forces. Okay, so that's it for the case of our uh, cis-trans isomerism.